Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wassalatu wassalamu ala sallallahu ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ala Did I lose the page? I hope not. Okay. Um, the next part, the next chapter in this book, in Kitab al-Iman, is Babu Tahreem Qatl al-Kafir Ba'da Qawlihi La Ilaha Illallah. This refers to somebody in a battle, and he is a, a disbeliever who was fighting the believers at the time. And if he, even during the battle, even if he has already killed a number of Muslims, even if he has also injured the person who is about to kill him, if that person, before he gets killed, utters, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah, I testify there's none worthy of worship but Allah and that Muhammad is his messenger, despite all that he has done, and the harm that he has done during the battle to the Muslims, if he just utters this word, the Muslim fighter has to restrain himself from harming him or killing him. Imagine that. Subhanallah. This is يعني, a sign that this is the religion of Allah Azza wa It is not about retaliation. Uh, you, you read the hadith. So this chapter talks about the prohibition of killing a fighting disbeliever, a combatant disbeliever, if he utters the, the testimony of faith. Even if this happened in the battle, no matter how much harm and damage has he, has he already inflicted in the Muslims. You follow? The hadith <coughs> reads as follows. One of the Sahaba says, <coughs> he says, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, Araita. إِنْ لَقِيتُ رَجُلًا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ فَقَاتَلَنِي What is, uh, tell, tell me what should I do if I met, if I met a disbeliever who was fighting me. فَضَرَبَ إِحْدَى يَدَيَّ بِالسَّيْفِ فَقَطَعَهَا And he hit one of my arms with his sword and severed it, cut it. ثُمَّ لَاذَ مِنِّي بِشَجَرَةِ Then he ran away from me, so ran away from me and hid behind the tree. فَقَالَ أَسْلَمْتُ لِلَّهِ then he, then he said, I submit to Allah. Of course, it means he was cut, but then he had the power still to fight back. He took his sword, and this guy obviously doesn't have any weapon anymore, so he's running away and hid behind the tree, and he was about to get killed. And he says, I submit to Allah. أَسْلَمْتُ لِلَّهِ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ Should I kill him? O Messenger of Allah, بعد أن قالها, after he said that, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا تقتله he says no do not kill him قال فقلت يا رسول الله the sahabi says so I said O messenger of Allah إنه قد قطع يدي he has severed my arm cut my hand off ثم قال ذلك بعد أن قطعها and he only said this after he injured me so badly after he cut my hand أفأقتله should I he thought the messenger didn't hear him maybe <laughs> he says should I kill him <laughs> أَفَأَقْتِلُهُ قَالَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لَا تَقْتُلُهُ He says, do not kill him. He says, لا تَقْتُلُهُ فَإِنْ, فإن قَتَلْتَهُ فَإِنَّكَ بِمَنْزِلَتِكَ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَقْتُلَهُ وَإِنَّهُ بِمَنْزِلَتِكَ قَبْلَ أَنْ يَقُولَ كَلِمَتَهُ الَّتِي قَالَ He says, <coughs> this needs explanation. He says, if you kill him, your status or your condition would be the same as his condition before he uttered the testimony of faith. And he would be in your condition before you killed him or before he said that statement. How did, it doesn't mean, it does, this statement doesn't mean that the Muslim here has become a disbeliever. No. It only means <clears throat> that before this person uttered the testimony of faith and he was a combatant fighting and has killed and injured amongst the Muslims during the battle, then his life is not uh, sacred, is not protected. They have the right to kill him because he is already fighting, he's a combatant, and he has already killed and injured other people. So they have the right to kill him. So the meaning is that if you killed him, you would be in a condition where you deserve to be killed in retribution for you for you killing him you follow that 
mean your blood is not protected anymore. Just like his blood was not protected before, before, uh, before he said that statement. You follow? فَإِنَّهُ مَعْصُومُ الدَّمْ مُحَرَّمٌ قَتْلُهُ بعد قوله لا إله الله His blood, his life is protected, sacred. كَمَا كُنْتَ أَنْتَ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَقْتُلَهُ Just like you were, your blood was sacred before you, before you killed him. وَأَنَّكَ بَعْدَ قَتْلِهِ غَيْرُ مَعْصُومُ الدَّمْ وَلَا مُحَرَّمُ قَتْلُ But if you, but after you killed him, your life now is not protected anymore and the Islamic law necessitates that retribution be executed against you and you would be killed as well. You follow? <clears throat> Um, and some people said that uh, you, you had fallen in sin, just like uh, the sin of committing a major sin, just like he had fallen into the sin of kufr. Not that the sins are equal, but you are a sinner uh, in a, a certain way, just like he was a sinner, but his sin, of course, was a sin of kufr, which was a much greater sin than the sin that you, that, that you have, that you have uh, committed. Does that make that hadith uh, clear? There's multiple other hadiths in this chapter, inshallah, that will come, will stop here.